Crystal Cyril Ndifo, Dean of Faculty of Law of the University of Calabar, Cross River State, has reacted to allegations of harassing female law students sexually. Several students have staged a protest in the institution accusing Ndifo of frequently harassing them sexually. They moved about in groups on the campus late Monday afternoon chanting, Ndifo, go, go. The students displayed placards with various inscriptions, including Ndifo must go. Professor Ndifo let the girls with big breasts breathe. Stop suffocating us. Law girls are not bonanza. Professor Ndifo must stop grabbing our BB. President of the Law Students Association of Nigeria, Law Sin, Unical Branch, Comrade Benedict Otu led the students in the protest. But in an interview with Cross River Watch, an online platform, the dean debunked the allegations. He claimed that the protest by the law students was masterminded by some persons in the faculty who had sworn to pull him down. Professor Ndifo, however, described the allegations as bay-faced lies aimed at tarnishing his image. Police operatives serving in Nsuka Area Command of the Enugu State Police Command have arrested one Obed Jekube Ugwani, a.k.a. MC Sharp Mel, aged 32, Chinene Abu, a.k.a. Star Ella Ada, female, aged 26, and Anastasia Ono, female, aged 26, involved in the viral video, wherein Chinene was seen being beaten, her clothes torn and stripped, and her hair forcefully shaved on the allegation of beating up Anastasia, who is Obed's girlfriend, and giving her a human bite on the chest. A statement by the police spokesperson, DSP Daniel Ndukwe, said the investigation reveals that the trial are, however, claiming that the video, which has generated public outcry and condemnation due to the inconceivable assault, inhuman and degrading treatment meted out on Chinene as seen in the video, is a prank and meant to gain followers on their social media account. In the viral video, Chinene was humiliated and this elicited reactions from many Nigerians. Ndukwe in the statement release said the State Commissioner of Police, C.P. Ahmed Amani, while condemning the act, has ordered the state CID Enugu State to thoroughly investigate and prosecute those found culpable to serve as a deterrent to anyone who may want to perpetrate such an act under the guise of prank.